Good morning, this is Rick with Outdoor Emergencies at HikingEmergencyBeacon.com. I'm out a little early this morning. The sun is just barely hitting the Rockies here in the Front Range near Larkspur, Colorado. But I really wanted to talk to you about the Garmin GPS Map 67i versus the Spot X and it's with Bluetooth. I do have the Spot X, I have two of them. If you want to buy one, no, I'm just playing. I don't sell them unless a friend of mine typically will want one of the older ones. Side note, sorry about that. But I really just want to compare these two. I want to show you what's, what they both can do and some things they can't do. And if you're looking at, you know, comparing them, trying to decide what one, what satellite communicator is better for you, hopefully this helps. But before I get into all that, please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. So you can see real quick the way they attach, I'll just first on the spot, there's a carabiner and then I use my trekking pole attachment here to hold it down. If I don't, then this spot X will just flop all over the place, at least the way I hike. You might be a smooth hiker, but not me. But if you don't have a trekking pole attachment, then there's all kinds of little straps, Velcro straps, things like that, that are made for backpacks to help hold this in place. So that's the first thing here about the spot. Just wanted to show you that is how they attach. I really don't like devices that attach with a carabiner and then move around unless you attach them appropriately. Now the Garmin products, many of them have, now I need both hands here. Why did I do that? Sometimes you probably look at these videos going, yeah, why do you do that, Rick? I don't know. I'm still learning. All right, so on the Garmin, a lot of these Garmin products, there's a spine adapter on these, and I just pulled this off a second ago, and it doesn't want to come off now, which is good, because you don't want these to slide off and on easily, you know, just so it doesn't, you know, lose them. So here's the spine adapter on this GPS Map 67i. This is the Garmin backpack tether, and honestly, except for the Messenger, the Garmin Messenger, I believe I carry all of my garments this way because if they don't have a spine adapter, then they can come with a spine adapter. You can get one and then you just slide this on and attach it. It's Velcro strap. It's easy, easily put those straps around your, your backpack strap. Off you go. It's a great way to carry these devices. There'll be a link in the description below. And actually, I've done some videos on these back, these back Garmin backpack straps or tethers, and that'll be right here on the screen. All right, so let's compare these real quick, some of the physical features about these. And again, I'm not being very coordinated with my, you know, movement of these devices, whatever you want to say. All right, so let's just look at some of the physical features real quick. You can see within about a quarter of an inch, the Spot X is just slightly taller. The Spot X is slightly thinner. Now this has the backpack tether, so it looks slightly thicker than it is, but it is thicker than the Spot X. And then of course you can see width-wise, the Garmin's a little bit thinner. And you know, physically, or as far as size, that's, you know, Weight-wise, they feel about the same. I think the Garmin might be a little bit heavier. And I'll have specs on the screen right now so you can see the difference between the two. Now, on the Garmin, let's talk real quick. Well, let's start with the spot. Since it's easier for me to put my Garmin back, let's talk about the Spot X real quick. So here's the antenna, and they both, the, both of these, they have the antenna, and what you should always do, what I've heard, been told, you want to keep this antenna skyward as much as possible. It's like, you know, you don't want to necessarily go flat on this one. You want it to be pointing up. All right, so the power button is right here on your top right. And down here at the bottom is where you have the USB port it's not the usb port but you know it's where you plug that that cable in to get updates on software and you can't download maps on this because there are no maps but that's that's where that connection is so there's nothing else on the side just the power button on the top and so on the screen here this is one thing that's nice about the spot x if for some reason 
you like the keypad right here, and it, and it is easier to type a, a unique message for two-way messaging with all these buttons right here. And this reminds me a lot of the old Blackberries. I don't even know if they even sell those anymore. I haven't seen them. But they had the keypad built in, which is a lot easier to type. And there's a space, alt, there's like an up arrow for caps, I think. There's back arrow, the delete here. And then, so then up here, you've got the return. Like if you're, here, here's the enter button right in the middle. And these, the square right here is how you arrow around. When you hit this uh, different sides of the square, then that arrows around. And then in the middle, there's a button and that's the enter. Right here's a little tracking, a little foot icon. So if you hit that, you'll start tracking. And then again, this is the return back arrow, or if you're in the menu, this takes you back to the previous page. Then over here is the SOS. If you open this, try to keep my hands out of the way, but if you open that right there and you hit that SOS button for, I don't know, about three seconds, then the service or the emergency services will contact you and because this is a two-way messenger, they'll, one of the first things they're gonna do is contact you and, and make sure it's a real emergency. Once they know it is an emergency, then they will then find out in more information, one, where you're at, number two, you know, how many people are involved, is it just you, what's the extent of your emergencies? Because depending on where you're at and ex the extern extenuating circumstances of your emergency, they can dispatch the right search and rescue team or more people or the right equipment. And maybe you're in a situation where they need to dispatch a helicopter. I mean, if you can communicate with a two-way messenger, that will help the search and rescue teams to respond a lot better and even faster. So back to the Garmin here. On the top here is the power button. And the SOS, the most important part of this here is the SOS, and there's the, you open this cover, depress it for three seconds, and search and rescue will come for you. Now I've done some, or two SOS tests with the IERCC. One time I was in cell service, I was talking to them, and another time I was outside cell, of cell service, I could only message them. I'll have links in the description below for both of those SOS tests. So bringing up that S, the SOS and two-way messaging is the number one thing about my website and what I want to show you with these devices. I do have one Garmin that is not a satellite communicator. And I, I tried that, I tested it because some people asked me to, but basically everything I do on here is, a, is to be able to communicate. And if you want to you know, argue about, well, hey, the Garmin has this or that over the Spot X, that what they do well is they can SOS and they can two-way message. I mean, all other arguments, argue all you want, but that's what you really need and what I focus on here is to be able to get help if you're in an emergency situation, especially life-threatening. All right, back to the Garmin. So on the back here, there is a flashlight and then there's a cover back here and this is a USB-C port, I think. And that, yeah, I said the flashlight. Over here, there's a micro SD card slot right here. And that is where, do I even have something here? I, yeah, I do. I do have a micro SD. Well, not in this one, I don't. But anyway, if you want more storage because you want to download additional maps, that's where you would do that right there. Now, then, see, I already talked about what's on the bottom. So let's talk about what's on the face of this here. You have a big screen. Now, I mean, I think it is a little bit bigger than this screen. It is. But then you've got the plus, minus. You've got these arrows right here in the middle. Now, see, there was these, this box right here on the spot, which is basically the same thing here. you got this, these arrows that get you around on the screen. But instead of hitting inside this, you would hit this enter here. There's a quit. Basically takes you back. And there's page, menu, find, and mark. Now, the, the main difference here, you know, the obvious difference between these devices here is this has a built-in keyboard on it physically. This one here, you have to arrow around and you have to select things by using the physical keys here to arrow around and select it on the screen. So those are the main physical differences. Let's talk in general about a few things. 
And again, the, no, the things that these are good at and they both have in common is the SOS and the two-way messaging. Number one most important thing. What are different here between these two is the Garmin products have, they use the, uh, the Iridium satellite network and it has pole to pole global coverage. And I'll show you a shot of the screen here and there'll be a link in the description below. Also, if you want to see the actual coverage at the moment, anywhere in the world, full coverage. The Spot X and the Spot Gen 3 and Gen 4 they do not have global coverage. They have very good coverage, but there are gaps in the coverage. You'll see that on the screen. And again, I'll have that in the description below. And you can see, you know, the, the current coverage of what the spot, uh, what it covers. There are gaps in some of the oceans. I believe there's gaps over in parts of China and India. I, I know, out, like I said, about out in the oceans there are. So it. For most people, I mean, 95% of the world, 90% of the world, maybe, you know, you're going to have coverage. So if you're going to travel with a spot, just make sure where you're traveling, you have coverage. And, you know, like I said, 90, 95% of chance you're going to get that coverage. Another similarity that they have is they both have the Bluetooth. So you can connect to your smartphone and you can even connect. I know in the Garmin you can. You can even connect to your iPad or you know notebook whatever you have so that's the same so there's the apps on your phone and you can message an SOS from them on both of them and it's easier to then message when you can use your phone just like you're texting so those are similarities one thing that is different and I thought the Spot X when I first bought it with the Bluetooth would be able to have maps now uh, there's a possibility there's a third party out there that that can connect somehow uh, but i'm not familiar with that but the gps map 67i has maps built in it comes with loaded preloaded maps and you can download maps anywhere in the world with the 67i i've already done that and uh, i'll show you right here there'll be a playlist to the 67i maps are included in that how i download them the Spot X does not have maps. And again, this is not the most critical and the most important thing because you can navigate and get maps on other things on your, on your phone or even, even other devices. So you may have to carry two devices or you may have to utilize your phone if you want to see maps. But again, the Spot X does not have the maps. The other thing they have is weather. They get weather forecasts. Now, let me say there's a difference here. The Spot X does not have weather. There is a third party I've seen online where if you text them or yeah, send them a message, you can get weather, but it's not part uh, currently that I'm aware of at all of the Spot, you know, the features that they offer. The 67i has weather you can get on the device and on the phone. So that's really nice. I, overall, there are more features on the 67i than on the Spot. Again, those features, are they critical? No, not necessarily. The most critical thing is to be able to SOS and to two-way message. All right, so let's take a real quick look at each one of these to show you the little bit of the differences between them. And what I'll do here is I'm not gonna arrow around on the menu because what, I mean, I've, I've done, I've gone through this so many times on these when I compare them that I just want to, I'll show you the images and we'll, I'll talk a little bit about them, but let's talk about SOS first. Again, the SOS is easy because you just open these covers here and then right here and you depress it, they'll contact you and you can get emergency services out to your location. Then there's two-way messaging. Now, that's where I've already talked a little bit about it. The spot has the built-in keypad, it's easier to message and then you can select your contact and then you know, type, in, type in your message and send it. The 67i, same thing, except that you have to use these keys here. You go in to the, well, how do you do that? I'm gonna look at it real quick. Uh, I, I do the, use these a lot. So there's two ways to do this. Well, at least, okay, I'm thinking about the menu two right now. On the 67i, if you want to message, you hit the menu button twice. It's one of the way, one way to get in at least. And here you go in and you go to messages. So on the screen here, you've got setup, tracking, SOS, course planner, recording controls, messages, 
map manager, inReach, weather, flashlight. And what's nice about this is there are so many things on here and there's things that aren't even shown and you can go add different, what they call pages, or I would say menu items, but you can go add them and then you can rearrange them. So the things you use the most, you can keep right here at the top and things you don't use, you can put them farther down. So you, you'll scroll to them or then you can add or delete. Now this here has a setup menu too. So you go in and you go in, there's display here menus. This is where you go in and you actually can add or subtract and move things around. So anyway, there's these map settings, tracking settings, messaging, contacts, etc. goes on and on and on. Here's the thing that was a little irritating when I first got this was, you know, when I, well, actually when I started with the 66i, there were so many things with this. If you don't like a lot of tech and it can maybe confuses you or you just don't want to spend a lot of time going through all these menus and setting things up, you know, the 66i and the 67i may not be for you. There are other devices, and I would say, you know, even Spot's one of these, and the ACR Bivy Stick, et cetera, the, Mini, the Garmin Enrich Mini 2. There are other devices that are more minimalistic. They're simpler to use. They have a lot of great features. This just has a lot. And if you like tech and you like to have all the features, then yeah, go with the 67i. Uh, over say the mini 2 or the spot so that's the main thing there about the two-way messaging about on both of them i will add this real quick and i, I don't want to be negative about any community uh, satellite communicator but when i have tested the garmin products versus the spot products i just from my personal experience the garmin's send and receive messages faster and you can challenge me on that all you want. It's not a scientific test that I've done. I'm just saying when I've done it in the past, it seems to be faster. Sorry, it's just, that's what my channel here is, you know, one, you know, like I said, to bring you things about help, getting help in, in emergency situations. But it's also about my personal experience out here testing them. What happens? Well, what do they do well? What do they not do well? How, how fast do they operate? And, you know, sorry if you don't like, um, you know, my personal experience, but that's, I want to bring that to you because, you know, you may be sitting here going, hey, what about this or that? And a lot of times when you're looking at the Garmin website and the Spot website, all they're doing is saying, hey, look how wonderful we are. Well, they are wonderful and they're great devices to have, but that's not what I do. I really want to test them and show you uh, more about them. Another thing that's similar to both these is they both have the ability to track and you, other people can see where you're at and they can look on a computer or maybe even on their smartphone or tablet and they can see exactly where you're at. You can set how often it sends those tracks to them. So that, that's really nice. Now the Garmin here, the GPS Map 67i is the only one that has the weather. And so you go in here into the menu, you select the weather and then you can request basic weather advanced weather and if you're out on a large body water water you can request marine weather and there'll be some images up here on the screen for that all right let's talk about navigation real quick they both can navigate but on the spot x it's basically giving you an arrow and and your your distance direction and you're basically gonna you know navigate in a straight line now you yourself need to navigate around obstacles, but it's not giving you a map or anything that says, hey, go right, go left. It's just, hey, here, it's this distance, this direction. I think it could even give you the altitude you're at or the elevation. Now, the 67i has the map on it, and so you can navigate by a route. You can create the route or course ahead of time. You can create it on the explore.garmin map page, or you can actually create it on the device itself or on the Explore app. So that's what's really nice is you can see, and I think in front of you, it's a magenta line, and then behind you, it's a cyan line where you came from. And then you can see your tracks and you can, you know, with you start tracking, then people can see where you're at. And they can see pe people on both devices can see where you're at. But then if you get lost or say you weren't even navigating, but you're lost or you need to help getting back, then the 67i, you can hit track back 
or navigate by trackback and then it'll take you back the very same way you came in you can see it on the device itself it's a really great feature again it's a it's a plus it's an added benefit it's not the most important thing but I will add this, that when my daughter was on a search and rescue team in Gunnison, Colorado, a lot of the calls they had were from people who were lost. And I don't mean to disparage hunters, but they did have a lot of hunters. And some people from Colorado, but a lot of people from outside the state come up here and they hunt and all of a sudden, you know, they're tracking something and all of a sudden they're lost. And they might be in snow, it might be dark, and they're on the wrong side of a mountain. I've found myself in a situation before. I was in snow, all of a sudden this one mountain that was supposed to be over here was over here, and we turned around and followed our tracks back out. But with this, you may not, you may find yourself in a, an emergency situation without being able to track back. But if you can track back, then you may not be in that emergency situation anymore if you have a device like this where you can track back or see where you're at on the map and then you get back to safety. Really important feature. I say the, na the navigation and the track back and the maps are not as important and that's true. But again, if you can track back and get out of a problem or not be lost, well then you may not need to use the two-way messaging and the SOS service, right? It's really powerful. I used to think when I first got into this that I wanted something minimalistic. I only wanted a one-way messenger. I didn't want people contacting me. I didn't need maps. You know, I was young and stupid. I really wasn't that young. But, you know, it, as I've gotten into these and I've used them more, I've really found that I like an all-in-one device and a device that has maps and weather. All right, so anything else that's different? What is different between these two that I haven't covered? Well, I am running a little bit long. I do have, like I said, I do have a playlist on this. I don't know if I have the playlist on the spot. If I do, it'll be in the description below. But here's, let me just give you my opinion on, on these two devices real quick. And again, I'm trying not to be negative at all, but I think you can already tell how I've been talking, which one I like better. The Spot X is really good at communicating. I do feel like it's slower from my experience. It's slower at sending and receiving messages. Not sure so much about the tracks, but the, on the messages for sure, I feel like it's slower. I like to be able to see, you know, it's got this big screen here. You can get the weather. You can easily two-way message on it. And when you use the app, then you're on the phone, you can message and see the bigger screen with the with the weather, with the navigation, with the maps. You, it's really simple. Now, you may not want to use your phone in certain situations when you're in really difficult climates and the weather's bad and it's muddy and rainy and all that, but you have the ability to do that. So if you're inside your tent or it's a beautiful day, you may want to pull your phone out. And in fact, a lot of times what I do is I just leave this, the Garmin devices attached. I'll, I'll pull my phone out and I can do pretty much anything I want that's really important to me right here on the device, on the Explorer app or on the Messenger app. That is one thing that's a little different I forgot to mention. The 67i uses both the Explorer app and the Messenger app. Now, because they're both synced with this, if I were to go to do a message on the Explorer app or SOS or weather, it automatically jumps over to the Messenger app, which is great, and you want it to go over there, uh, and you don't even have a choice. But the Messenger app can utilize Wi-Fi, cell service, or satellite service, and it changes automatically without you doing anything. So if you find yourself in cell service, it's going to send and receive tracks and messages faster, and it's really nice to have that. So to wrap this all up, they're both really good. They both have two-way message. They both have SOS. That, that is the most important thing. But I favor the Garmin's, yep, not just a little bit. I favor the Garmin's by far. And, you know, they just have a lot of features that the Spot doesn't have. Will Spot add them in the future? Maybe, maybe hopefully they will. But, you know, having everything on one device, if I don't want to even pull my phone out, I can do everything right here, including navigation, including maps, everything I need to do. So that's the differences. If you really were, if you contact me and say, hey, what's better? I, well, you can already see. I'm going to tell you to take a look at the 67i first. Now, it is probably 
at least twice as expensive if not three times more money and i'll have the prices for both of these on the screen so there's a big difference in price but honestly i would save up my money and i would go get the 67i over the spot it's just worth that much it's it's, it's worth it it's much it's a much better product with all the things it offers the speed of, of, of how it uh, functions or you, you know you can send and receive tracks i will I'll add as, as a side note the processor on the 67i is much faster than the 66i and when i'm in the past have been zooming around or panning around on a map the speed of this is way better and again it has worldwide maps so that's it you know if you got any comments any questions and you want me to research something or compare something specifically between these two please leave a comment below because i will do that i'll come back out i'll test the the messaging in more detail between the two or you know whatever it is you want me to test I, i'll take a, a harder look at it and i come out to these trails all the time they're right near my house and i i'll field test them and help you resolve your question or help make a decision on which one you would want to buy thanks for joining me here and i know it's been a little bit of a long video but again if you have any questions at all please leave a comment below Thanks for joining me and please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. And if you'd like to support Hiking Emergency Beacon, there's a link in the description below. Thanks for joining me and I will see you back out here in Colorado in the next video.